Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question 21. A container of milk and water. Question 21. A container has milk and water in the ratio of 3 to 2. The volume of the container is 50 liters. So 50 liters is the volume of the container. It has milk and water in the ratio of 3 is to 2. 10 liters of this solution are removed and replaced with water. So 10 liters of mixture are replaced with water. Okay. What is the final amount of milk if this operation is done twice? So what you are doing is you will remove out of the 50 liters out of the 50 liters in this mixture, you will remove 10 liters of the mixture. What is this mixture? Originally this mixture is 3 is to 2 in the for milk and water. Once you remove 10 liters of milk and water, then you add 10 liters of water. Then you remove another 10 liters of mixture and then you add another 10 liters of water and this can be done many times. The question is, what is the amount of milk if this operation is done twice? Now, since you are introducing water, you should be working on the basis of milk. Secondly, this mixture had 50 liters of milk and water, out of which originally 30 liters were milk and 20 liters were water. When you are removing 10 liters of this mixture, you are removing 20% of the mixture and hence the quantity of milk and quantity of water, both of them will come down by 20% or you will be left with 80%. So what will be you will be left with out here will be 80% of 20 uh, for water and 80% of 30 for milk. So 80% of 30 is 24 liters of milk is what you will be left with and 16 liters of water is what you will be left with. Which adds up to 40 because you have removed 10 liters. Okay. After that you are adding water. So that will increase the quantity of water. So, in, in other words, second time when you do the same thing, you will again remove 80% of the mixture. So, what happens is, every time you are removing 20% of milk or you are leaving behind 80% of milk. Originally, the mixture has 3 out of 5 is milk. Out of total of 50 liters, this much is milk. After the first one, the quantity of milk left would be 80% or 8 by 10 of the original. After the second operation, another 8 by 10 will be left or rather 2 by 10 has been removed. Hence, 8 by 10 of the mixture has been uh, or 8 by 10 of the mixture has been retained in terms of milk. Okay. So, this is the quantity of milk which you will have after the two operations. The key thing again here being that when you are removing 20% of the mixture, you are removing 20% of milk and 20% of water or you will be left behind with 80% of milk and 80% of water. So, in every operation, there will be reduction of 20% or you will be left behind with 80%. Now, since you are adding water, while some amount of water is going out, you are adding some amount of water, no milk is being added. So, you can safely say, every time, 20% of the milk which is there in the mixture is getting removed or 80% of the milk is being retained. So, the quantity of milk finally left in the mixture will be volume of the mixture into fraction of the milk originally into 8 by 10 for the first operation and by into 8 by 10 for the second operation. Supposing the same thing was repeated third time also, I would have multiplied with another 8 by 10 or another 80%. So, what is the final amount of mi uh, mixture? Let's just calculate that now. So, this is 5 1s are 5, 5 10s are these two go out. So, 8 8 is 64 into 3 192 upon 10. So, 19.2 liters is the final amount of milk in the mixture. Had the question asked for the final amount of water in the mixture, I would have said, since the volume of the vessel is 50 liters and 19.2 liters is milk, the remaining has to be water.